You can use Apple Motion to create some stunning text effects. Check out this animated title that spins up and underneath this sign on the island of Bermuda. Start by dragging your background element into the canvas window. Click on the text tool and type your text object. Move over to the inspector tab to make some quick adjustments to your text. You can now adjust the tracking and or size of your text object. Click on the style tab and choose one of the preset styles. Next, under the layout tab, set the layout method to path. Then under the path options, set the path shape to a circle. Click on the select transform tool to adjust the text object. Right click on your text object within the canvas window and choose transform 3D. Go ahead and adjust this rotation ring to give your title some 3D perspective. Back in the inspector window, you can adjust the radius and path offset of your text object. Then click this red record button. Move the playhead indicator to the end of the timeline. Then adjust the path offset so your title completes the circle. Next, make sure you turn off the record button. Okay, now that we've got the animation for the text, we need to create an animated mask. Press Command 4 to bring forward the Layers tab. For the time being, turn off the text layer. Click on the Bezier tool and draw a mask around the sign. Be sure to pick corner points so Motion will have an easier time tracking them. Next, click on the Add Behavior button. Then choose Shape Track Points. Move over to the Behaviors tab within the Inspector window and click on the Analyze button. Apple Motion will then generate the tracking data for your mask. After the tracking data is complete, move over to the Layers tab and twirl up the Disclosure Triangle for your Bezier mask. Then activate the layer so you can adjust and offset your control points to hide the rest of the sign. Next, highlight the background layer and right-click on it to duplicate the layer. Then, drag the mask you've created into your original background layer. The next step is to drag your text object in between the two layers. After that, if you turn your text layer back on, you can see we're almost done, but part of the text is hidden by the mask layer. To fix this, click on the mask layer and move over to the inspector window. Activate the crop parameter and crop the right side of the layer until the text is visible again. Okay, that's it. Back up and watch your sequence. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Studio training course, visit GeniusDV.com.